So out June 29th on 4K Ultra HD from Warner Brothers is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So this one was just announced, and it had kind of an interesting little note about the restoration, because typically you'll see it say, you know, brand new 4K restoration from original camera negative and so on and so forth. This one says 4K restoration of the film done previously. Was, so I don't, Has this previously been released in 4K? The, the only thing I can think of, if it's streaming somewhere in 4K... I don't know. I'm sure it is. If that's the case, it's probably that. It does have HDR 10 color grading, and that's pretty much about it. You get nothing! You know, they're just kind of putting this back out just in a 4K disc. What's kind of kind of crazy is this movie came out in 1971. So this movie's it's its 50th anniversary, like this year, you know? Wow, and, and this is all this is the fanfare you, it's getting. Well, you get nothing! Yeah, they're not announcing this as an anniversary edition. It says nothing about it being an anniversary edition on the box. There's no fanfare at all being put out for this anywhere else. So they're, they have already a Zavi Steelbook counterpart with pretty much very similar art. It's just got um, a different background. Same Willy Wonka pose. It's got a little bit more colorful, but that's pretty much it. Now, I'm sure Best Buy or Target or someone will get that same thing. Um, but again, there's no, there's no fanfare. You lose! I don't really even have much to go off of with this release, which I think is pretty crazy because... Didn't they put out on DVD, like, some insane box that had... Dude. I don't even remember. I've never owned this on physical media, but I, I feel like this yeah. release has always gotten yeah. a bunch of... Oh, here you go. Yeah, so this is, what they, <laughs> this is what they put out for the 40th anniversary. This was 10 years ago. And it was a gigantic box. It was a huge slip. It comes out. It has a... Golden ticket in it, which you never used. Which I never opened. I mean, all the stuff I never opened. This is completely sealed. A making of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you know, book, which is awesome. In here, it's this really nice pouch that's got a ton of different art and just tchotchkes and you know, just all, all types of stuff in here. Plus the movie. It's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. I mean, cool. I think it had a pencil case. My point. My point being is that. Not only is this like a tentpole film and a huge film for Warner Brothers, but, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I guess it just shows you the state of where physical media was and where it is now. Like Warner Brothers has really no care in mm. themselves and doing really much, even for a big anniversary. They already have it out there streaming. Let's just get the, the collectors to have their physical media fix. Her take on this. Okay. Ultimately a kid's movie. Younger kids, they mm -hmm. don't care about physical media. The collectors or the people who are older, maybe they're dying off. This is 50 years old. Gene Wilder's gone. I mean, maybe it, this film's just kind of finally collecting dust. Good day, sir! I mean that with no disrespect. This is a master. This is a classic. From a, from a Warner Brothers perspective, they probably are just interested in putting out a disc. People like Zavi, they're the ones that are going to make or collect all these tchotchkes and still give you that disc, but just, hey, or buy all this extra crap in this box that we made, which that's what now collecting sometimes has come down to. That's kind of what you have to deal with. And which, again, is really weird. This movie is ripe for putting a bunch of memorabilia together, yeah, for sure. like a Zavi type company, for sure. put hundreds of little memorabilia pieces together, put it in some 50th anniversary box. Put the Roll of Doll book in there. Put it put it out for $100. <laughs> People might buy that. People might buy the $50 version. I mean, this movie, I feel like, still has enough cachet amongst you know fans and collectors to, it, to have a edition that's worth it. This is not worth it. It certainly does. And I don't, I don't want to get it twisted on what I just said in that, it does have that cachet. What I'm saying is maybe that's not translating to sales and maybe, maybe that didn't happen on that. And maybe that is just a demographic thing with, hey, this is 50 years old. I'm sure with streaming and all that, I'm sure there's a whole generation of kids out there who've watched Johnny Depp do this now. I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Speak a little louder next time. This news item came out like only a few days ago and I feel like I almost didn't want to even mention it because maybe there is something still to come. But I mean, this might really be it. I mean, we talked about so many releases lately where mm -hmm. the studio is just putting out a 4K disc and that's it. You've got to rely on some other distribution type company to come along and save the day with a nicer box and a nicer this and a nicer that. We talked about it with Snatch. We talked about it with The Sting. It's very similar. In both of those situations are trying to give you something more. And a lot of times it's a little bit better than what these companies are able to do, probably because they're making all their money on streaming and, and everything else. But also, it sucks. Also, Warner... Warner Brothers isn't exactly the yeah they're going out the they're going crown out. of physical releasing and Disney bought them and Disney doesn't care even Paramount who they have that Paramount 
classics edition with the slipcase and all that uh warner has warner archive <laughs> yep that's all they basically do and and it's funny you mention that because here's an article that just came out april 23rd that warner brothers is going to exit physical media production wow that's um, news to me yep I didn't... says that warner brothers plans to shut down its physical media production department a lot of warner brothers produced films and television series will still be getting blu-ray and dvd releases though these releases will not be produced by warner brothers themselves so basically now we have our answer as to why this 50th anniversary willy wonka yeah. edition is the way it is it does say furthermore that warner archive will still be kept around for now and the warner archive collection which is the home video division they'll keep releasing their cult classics and we talked about them a few times too that we just talked about quick change uh, pump up the volume um, is it going to save no <laughs> no um, archive. it says it might be shocking but it's ultimately understandable sales of dvds in the u.s fell 9.4 percent in 2019 to 5.9 billion down from 9 billion in 2011 great time to start a podcast oh. Update, while Warner Brothers is not abandoning home video completely, the amount of Warner Brothers films and shows that will be getting physical media releases will be going down as the idea is to develop more interest in HBO Max. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, HBO Max has been the leader in killing the theater industry as well. Thanks a lot, Mortal Kombat. <laughs>